you remember that I shared out uh, two packages last November as far as officer and flex table. And these things basically are our packages and you can automatically create Word documents or PowerPoint presentations. So I had a great use case that came up and as of all great uh, geek brief start, this is the GitHub repo. Uh, so as many of you know, and, and actually many of you have seen this brief because it was presented at a car and I know Connor saw it in Houston at Informs. And uh, so this is the uh, repo for it. I've, I've invited everybody to participate. A huge call out to Aaron, which you'll uh, recognize down here. And there's only two contributors, myself and Aaron. So for those of you who don't know, I've been using an ESPN Sports 2015 analytics assessment of all professional sports in the United States to figure out and been tracking who's made the playoffs and who has made um, win championships and how far they've gotten in the playoffs uh, and tried to correlate that to things like salary, the size of market uh, and the sport. And also, you know, has analytics played in that success. So that's kind of the background of this, all the code and, and pretty much every brief I've ever given is in this repo. If you're interested, just contact me for this. The cool part is that um, University of Arkansas gave me this template, right? And this is a template brief, just like any other template brief that's out there. I mean, Kana has these also. So basically, um, you know, I filled in what I could. And, you know, some of this is static. So it was just a mere copy and paste. So, uh, and up to... Uh, 10 slide 10 here and then slide 11 is actually a qr code to get to the repo all right so between 10 and 11 you'll note the lack of graphs or charts or tables so basically what happens is um go to the r code and uh there's these two really nice packages again officer and flex table and this is the code i can actually knit this uh, to HTML and, it, and it's fine. This is typically how I used to present this, uh, you know, during a lot of the uh, briefs or presentations, I would brief the slides and then move over here and then quickly knit this. And then in our studio, and, it, and actually you can knit it with the code or without, and then you can display, I always do local teams, which for University of Arkansas is a little weird because Arkansas doesn't have any professional teams. So I just went with Dallas, Kansas City, and Memphis, right? Some things that kind of surround Arkansas. Uh, and then I have the champions here, go through all the champions, how they performed, some other statistics. And then I do a K-means clustering down here. Uh, I actually do it for every year, 2019, 2018, uh, 2017, 2016, 2015. Uh, so I have all this stuff. And I come down here and this is kind of the, the so what graph and uh, teams that use analytics or were rated high in analytics in 2015 seem to be outperforming. And this gap is actually increasing over time, which is uh, uh, reinforcing my hypothesis. But nevertheless, that's the actual brief. So this is how I used to do it. And, and given this is still pretty powerful because, you know, you're going to see the code, right? So I can comment on the code behind it. So that's how I used to do it. Now uh, I can just uh, run this code. So we're just gonna run all, and it's just gonna go down and um, just basically run the code. And then there's a snippet at the end that we're going to go ahead and uh, this actually prints the slides, right? So if, if I run all the code, I run this, then basically just go over, and it produces a file. And uh, within a few seconds, I'll go down to that slide. So this is slide 10. Now, slide 11, uh, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Actually, this is, I cheated on this one. This is a picture. I, I couldn't. Uh, this is a weird plot in R, which does not, it's hard to render graphically. So uh, I had to cheat on that one. Um, but all the rest of these, as you can see, are rendered 
in uh, and, and the other piece of this too, the tables are fully uh, editable. So you can edit these in PowerPoint, which is really nice because typically our, in the old workflow, I would have had to have rendered these in R, taken a screenshot and then copy and pasted these over into, into these slides, right? So this is like uh, 14 slides worth of tables and charts. So anytime I would make one small change, then I would, it would, you know, to, to create the same slide deck would probably take about 10 minutes. If I change anything, and if I change data or I change um, any of the parameters here, I can basically just rerun this code and produce a new slide deck. And, and, and I think it takes about 1.7 seconds. So it's a lot easier. Uh, now, I will say that setting up where these tables appear and where the charts appear, it, you know, the first time through, it takes some time, right? But now if I update anything, then producing this uh, is trivial, right? This data may change, but the tables and graphs appear at exactly the right area. So uh, the last time, if you remember, I produced a Word document that was perfectly formatted. So, um, so for my next magic trick, I am going to do the seemingly impossible. Right now, I've probably only done, as far, if you compare this to magic, I've probably done like, you know, a shell game, and I may have done some really cool um, deck of card tricks, right, with this uh, PowerPoint. The next trick I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut a person in half. I'm actually going to import a Word document, and I'm going to make a table of all acronyms in Word, I mean, excuse me, in R, and then I'm going to export that back out. So I, I probably for most of us, that's not really super exciting, but Kenny, if you're out there or anybody who's ever had to go through a document and look to see what all the acronyms are and build that table, uh, this could be a huge time saver. And if it's just a three page document, that's trivial. But if you're talking about a tech document that is, you know, hundreds of pages, then trying to go in and look at, to see what, where all the acronyms are, and, it, and it'll put it on a table. It's not gonna, it's not gonna say what it means. That, that's gonna have to be the user, right? However, I mean, there could be something advanced if we knew what all the acronyms are that we could do that. But uh, my first trick is uh, just to find all the acronyms, which is all the you know, words of capital letters, and then put them in alphabetical order in a, into a table and then export that again. So that's what I have um, on tap for the future. Oh, the other piece of this too is that you can do conditional formatting, which is really neat. You see that here, I've highlighted some stuff and I could have made this conditional, like if it's over a certain amount, um, then there could be conditional formatting too. So yeah, it's, it's, it's super neat.